Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ali. I hope you're all doing well and are staying safe. So today I have an Elf Beads haul to share with all of you. Um, Elf Beads uh, um, in the past few weeks has released two of their Halloween collections. So they did a part one and then they did a part two. So this is what I picked up from their part one release. I placed an order for part two and it should be coming soon, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, this is from part one and it came wrapped in this brown tissue paper with this grayish silverish uh, ribbon, which is just so perfect for the season. I really love that. And then there is this cute little butterfly, which, you know, it's so cute. And then as always, there is a handwritten note from Mila, which again, I love reading the notes from Mila. I just always appreciate that personal touch. But yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and see what I picked up. So I have these two baggies in here and um, I ordered two beads. So I'm thinking that she sent me some stuff to review. And I think the beads I ordered are in this one uh, from what I can tell from feeling. So let's go ahead and open this one up and let's see what we have. So I have these two silver beads and let me take them out of the baggies and I'll show them to you. So this is the first bead that I picked up. As soon as I saw this bead, I knew I had to have her. And this is Althea the Witch. And she is just such a cute little bead. Um, she's, you know, when you think of witches and Halloween, you automatically think of um, evil witches. But she's not evil. She's a nice one. And um, she is very knowledgeable about flowers. And she makes potions uh, out of those flowers. And yeah. So there's a story, a whole story associated with her, and I would encourage you to go read it on the Elf Beads website. Um, this was de uh, designed by Myra Cheng Moon, who has done a lot of work for Elf Beads, and as always, she has done an amazing job with this one too. I love this bead. You can see Althea, she has this um, mysterious, but kind of nice expression on her face. She has this slight smile. She's looking at these flowers, maybe plucking them or just taking care of them. You can see the flowers over here. Um, I love the detail on her. So many details, even her hands and her fingers. Each one is distinct. Um, I love her dress with her puffy sleeves and then uh, puffy at the shoulder and then kind of flaring out into these bells. It's just, you know... The detail on this bead is just amazing and you can see her hat, it has this cute little curve to it um, and then on her headband you can see more flowers on there and then the bottom you have these leaves, uh, different kinds of leaves at the bottom which again love that touch. Um, here is the back. You can see that she has maybe a potion bottle attached to her belt. I'm not sure what that detail is, but that's so cool. Maybe, um, you know, she's, um, maybe fertilizing the flowers or maybe she's picking them up and putting them in that bottle. I'm not sure, but you do see her hair. You see the ribbon in her hair and then her hair is pretty long and is curling towards this side, which you can see. So yeah, lots and lots of details on her. Amazing, amazing details on her. You can see the hair. It's coming to the front. So yeah, she has really long hair, which I love that because I have very long hair. Uh, but yeah, that's Althea the Witch and I love her can't wait to start designing with her and this is the other one that I picked up and this is called purple nightmare this is again designed by Myra and um, this one is a bat you can see that it has these purple CZ eyes he has this expression his mouth is open you can see his fangs and he's in mid-flight maybe or just trying to scare you I don't know but you see the wings and the texture on the wings is so cool it just looks like those leathery wings you see the talons at the top of the wings um, you can see the furry body but I don't know if um, it's my imagination or if I see a scarf around his neck so do you think it's Dracula in his um, you know bat form I'm not sure but that is a really cool touch if it is in fact a uh, a scarf around his neck um, this one is actually 
a stopper, you can see that the back, you have these wings and then you have this little um, circle and then you have, oh, let me take this out. You have the silicon lining inside. So this will stay on your bangle or your bracelet wherever you put it. And it's supposed to have that two glass beads that can go uh, under the wings kind of. And I know Myra did a post on her Instagram saying that she recommends a regular sized um, and a regular shaped donut shaped glass bead to go under these. And so, yeah, again, so, so much detail on this. Just look at that amazing amazing detail on this so yeah that is purple nightmare and so these are the two beads that i ordered and then i see another baggie so as i said i think um mila sent me some beads for review which i'm always always so thankful to her that she does that and i'm thankful to you guys because you guys watch my videos and that's why i get these you know opportunities to review beads and so yep i see some uh spacer type beads so yeah let me quickly take these out so the first bead that she sent me is the elements bead and this one again is designed by myra and this one portrays the um the different elements water fire earth air and ether and um, she has uh, all of these elements on each of these discs separately and how, um, you know, you should go read what she says about it. And even her Instagram posts, if you're on Instagram, she explains her how she designs these beads and what she thinks. And I see these double crescent moons separating each disc. Um, so you see, and then there's a little dot in the middle. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a star or something else but it's really cool and then you see the crescent moons here as well there's five of them for each of uh, the element um, and yeah that is really really cool so that's the first one this is the next one and this is called rosemary skulls and you have these skulls you see the human skulls and then you have this rosemary growing through them Oh, this is so cool. The details on this one, like I had seen pictures of this on the website and they are amazing pictures, very detailed. But when you see it in person and you hold the bead in your hand, it's a heavy bead. It's a solid chunk of silver. And all these details, you just appreciate them more. You see the teeth, some of the teeth are missing because, you know, it is a decaying skull. It is a really, really cool bead. And then here you see the side view. So yeah, rosemary skulls. And then this is the last one. And this is called Wheel of Poison. And this one um, is, you know, I guess Althea uses these flowers to make her potions. So the flowers on here are um, Angel's Trumpet, uh, Dracanulus vulgaris, Deadly Nightshade, Foxglove, and Morning Glory. And I think I only recognize Morning Glory, which is right here. I'll have to look up the other flowers to see what they look like and which one is exactly which, but this is beautiful. And, you know, it's a floral bead. Right now, we know that, you know, by reading the description that it's the Wheel of Poison. It's the five most poisonous flowers that exist. But um, if you don't care about that, if you just love florals, you could use this year round just as a floral bead. And that would be so cool. And you can see the side view here. You can see the whole flower. It is in detail. So you see the sides and the bottom of the flower too, which I love that. So let me show you a closer look at all the flowers. It's a beautiful bead, very cool. And I used to grow a lot of morning glory uh, in my mom's garden when we were little. Uh, you know, my mom would love to garden my dad too, but morning glory was something that I grew on our fence because it's a climber. So I used to do that and I had purple, white, and blue that would grow some in my front yard, some in my backyard. So yeah, this one, 
it's special because it has a morning glory on it so these were the three beads uh that she sent me for review now i had also ordered something from beads candy shop which is also owned by me so they sell elf beads and they sell some other brands too like Morez. uh uh they have um palace of amber they have um uh, Aurora, I think. They have a few other brands that they sell. They have uh, Black Raven beads. And so it's a one-stop shop for people here in the U.S. who find uh, it difficult to buy all these beads from, you know, other countries or their specific websites. So it's a one-stop shop. And I actually bought uh, one bead from on there from another um, brand. I'll show that to you in a little bit. But with that, Mila had sent me a few of these beads to review as well. And so uh, I'll show you ones that are actually repeats uh, from the ones that she sent me now. So she had sent me Wheel of Poison and she had sent me Rosemary Skulls. So now I have a pair of those two, which, you know, I always love pairs in these kinds of space or light beads. So I really appreciate that. But she also sent me this one, which is called Time Skulls. And this one, you know, instead of human skulls, it has cat skulls. You can see the difference, actually. Uh, let me see. So you can see the difference in the skulls. And uh, this one has rosemary going through it. And this one has thyme. And yeah, again, so much detail on this. And these skulls are not perfect. You can see that they are broken and they are deteriorating and so it's a cool one you can see the big uh, teeth up there and the cat teeth it's a cool cool bead i love both of these very very cool beads so she had sent me those as well now let me quickly show you the other bead that i had ordered from beads candy shop as i said it's not from elf beads but it's such a cool bead and um, as soon as i saw it i really really wanted it so this is the bead i ordered this is called pumpkin truck and this is from palace of amber and this is just a truck it has these pumpkins in it and it is so cute it is so cool i love it and look guys the wheels move the wheels on this move i feel like a kid when i saw this you know my my boys they love to collect cars and this one is so cool i love that the wheels move and so yeah i love fall i love halloween i love fall in general and this one is just such a typical fall bead a truck of pumpkins it is very cool i love the detail on the truck you can see the pumpkins in here and um, this is the bottom of the truck. So the details, again, on this one, so, so amazing, so cool. I love this. And so, yeah, this is my haul from Beads Candy Shop and from Elf Beads. And I just am loving everything. And I'm so excited to design with all of these beads. I'm really, really excited about Althea. And I'm really excited to receive my next order from the part two of their Halloween collection, Elf Beats Halloween collection. So anyways, I know this was a long chatty one, but I can't help it uh, because I just love these beads and I want to share all my details that I see on there with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next one. Stay safe, guys. Bye.